The switch on your grinder both turns the tool on and off, as well as engages the electric brake when the tool is shut off. The switch has two connections that interrupt the black cord wire, and a third connection for the wire to the electric motor brake. Eventually the switch will wear out, and will need to be replaced. When this occurs, the motor might not turn on at all, or only intermittently. A bad switch could also be the cause of the motor brake not working. Replacing the switch is a repair that you can do yourself and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing one half of the rear handle. Now I'll pull the switch from the housing and remove the wires. Before you remove the wires, you'll want to take note of the location of each one. Now I can install the new switch. I'll start with the black wire from the cord. Next, the black wire from the motor. and the yellow wire from the motor. Now I can place the switch back into the housing, making sure it aligns with the pins on the housing, and I'll tuck any wires away that might have come loose. It's important the wires get tucked away so they don't get smashed when we reinstall the other half of the handle. Now reinstall the half of the handle and secure it with the screws. And that's how you install a new switch in your grinder.